Hi my darling. I am just coming back from the market. Things are really expensive, but I was able to get a few things. Welcome back Martha. What is the problem? Why do you have a long face? What is bothering you? I am tired of the life that we are living. We are living in abject poverty. Look at where we live. We live in a room and the condition of this room is a total disaster. I go out and I see my mates in big cars, living in large houses and here I am. I understand the way you feel and it is good to want more. But let's be thankful that we have a place to live and food to eat at least while we work towards our goal. No this is not enough. I can't continue living this way. I have not been able to get a job since I finished school. We can't even afford anything nice. Thomas, things will get better. Since we have been together for five years, I have not complained. At least we still have my job to provide for the basic things. Your job? You call that a job? All we are surviving on is your job and they pay peanuts. I know my salary is little, but it is what we have for now. And remember that I am saving some money so we can start a business soon. What sort of business do you want to start with your peanut salary? I doubt if it will be a successful business. I think you should use the money you are saving for other things that can make us more comfortable. My business will be very successful, I am sure about it. What other things do you have in mind? Maybe get a car, rent a nicer place, buy better clothes and gadgets. A lot of other things. All those things can come later. For now, we need to manage what we have till things get better. Whatever. I am going to hang out with the boys. See you later. Hi dear, I have been worried about you. You did not come back home yesterday and you were not picking your calls. And why are you monitoring my movement and questioning me? Are you my mother? No I was only worried. Don't be offended. I needed to ask you something. I wanted to go to the supermarket to get some things for us and I noticed that some money was missing from the safe. Do you know anything about it? Are you calling me a thief? You just want to insult me because I don't have money, right? Go and tell the whole world that you are the one feeding the both of us because of the peanuts you bring back from that nonsense job of yours. I am not insulting you. I only asked a question because I noticed money was missing. I almost called the police because I thought we had been robbed but I wanted to confirm from you first. For your information, I took the money and I went to hang out with my friends at the casino. Are you satisfied with that? You took the money from the safe and wasted it at the casino. Why will you do something like that? You know we are saving the money for our wedding and to start a business. Whenever my salary comes, I share the money equally with you. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Watch the way you talk to me. I knew you have been looking for a way to insult me because you give me peanuts that you call salary. You are getting it all wrong. I am not insulting you. I am upset because you took the money, but you wasted it on drinks and gambling at the casino. We are working towards something but you ignored that. You stayed out without even letting me know and I was worried. I am sorry for raising my voice at you. That's okay. There is a man I met at the casino who wants to do a business deal with me. When it clicks, I will give you your money back with interest. A business deal? That is great news. What does he do and what is the business about? Business is business. I did not ask him. But I am willing to do anything to make money and stop all insults. I think you need to find out more about him and this business so you won't get into any trouble in the long run. Don't stress me with any questions please. I am extremely tired and I need to rest. I have good news. You look really happy. Tell me the news. I am terrible at guessing. Remember the man I told you about who wanted to do a business deal with me? I met with him today and we discussed. He is actually a very successful businessman who deals with importation and exportation of goods all around the world. He wants me to travel with him on his next trip so he can teach me the ropes of his business. That's amazing news. I am very happy. Finally our prayers have been answered. I am extremely glad. I will be traveling with him next week and I will be out of the country for a month. But by the time I get back, I am sure I will be buoyant enough to afford anything I need. I can already imagine my house and the cars I will buy. It is my time to enjoy.
Yes, my dear. And we can also start the business and begin our wedding preparations too. We have been engaged for five years and been waiting for finances. I am extremely excited. Oh yes, we can do that too. But let me travel in return. We really don't need to rush anything. If you say so. Let me take some money from the savings so I can do some shopping for the things you need before you leave. There is no need for that. Everything I need will be taken care of. I don't need your money any longer. Okay, no problem. This is the best news I have received in a very long time. I am extremely happy. Well done, dear. Martha, how are you doing? It's been a long time. Anita, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a very long time. How will you have seen me? You have been enjoying yourself all over the town and forgotten about me, your friend. Enjoying myself? No, I have been managing to make ends meet with work. You know my fiancé, Thomas traveled so I have been here trying to be fine. You don't need to be modest. It's Thomas I am talking about. He came back some weeks ago and he has been in all the popular clubs and events spending a lot of money. I know things are now better for you guys. I am very happy for you. <laughs> you must be mistaken. Thomas is not back yet, because his job has been very demanding but he will be back soon. I spoke with him about two weeks ago and he did not mention anything about coming back. I am very sure it is Thomas I saw. I went for a birthday party and he bought drinks for everyone there. I have a video on my phone. You can check it. It is Thomas. Why would he come back and not tell me? You really didn't know he is back in town? Wow. I did not know. What could have made him act like this? I am really scared. Don't be sad my friend. Maybe he wanted to surprise you. Hmm. Maybe you were right. Let me not rush into conclusions yet. Yes. The last time I saw him, he invited us to a party at his house. I will send the details to you in case you really can't wait to see him. Thank you very much Anita. You are welcome dear. Let me run along now. Take care of yourself. Hello good afternoon. And who are you? Why would you come into my house without even knocking on the door? My apologies. The door was open. My name is Martha and I am looking for Thomas House, but I must be in the wrong house. Let me check the next apartment. I see. This is his house but he is not in at the moment. Why do you want to see him? I am his fiancé. I did not know he was back in the country, so I decided to come and see him. Are you his friend? <laughs> you must be a comedian or a very big liar. I am not lying. We have been together for five years. I can also show you pictures as proof. Now that is enough. I don't need to see anything because you are lying. How can you be his fiancé and he did not tell you he was back in town? Now listen carefully, I am his girlfriend. We met at the airport about a month ago and nobody has ever said anything about you. I am sure you are one of these beggars that have come to ask for money. You look very cheap. You are his girlfriend? That is not possible. Now leave this house before I call the security to throw you out like a bag of rubbish that you look like. I can't believe this is happening to me. Am I dreaming? Someone should wake me up. Or maybe it's not Thomas. He can't do this to me. Besides I haven't seen him yet. Thomas? You are really back. I was hoping it was a lie. So it's true? Look hold on Martha. Firstly, why will you come to my house to embarrass my guest in that manner? Do you know who she is? Do you know how wealthy her family is? You are lucky she did not throw you in prison. You should be ashamed of yourself. If that is what you came here to tell me then get out of my house. <laughs> Is this the place you'll call a house? This dirty slum. I can't believe I once lived in a place like this. I will gladly leave your house. But let me warn you, if you have not gotten the message, let me explain it clearly to you. 
I am done with any relationship with you. I do not want to see you anywhere around me or my house. I don't even know how you found me. I have upgraded and you do not fit into my level any longer. I travel the world and mix with rich people now. I can't be associated with the likes of you except for charity. You ungrateful man. After everything I did for you. People kept on warning me about you but I refused to listen. For five years I was clothing and feeding you and this is how you repay me? This is what you are saying to me? You are wicked. I can pay you back ten times of whatever peanuts you think you spend on me. Just move on with your life and leave me alone. Do not come near me or my girlfriend or you will be thrown in prison. You have been warned. I do not need your money. Keep that cursed money to yourself. You are an evil man and you will pay for this wickedness you have done to me. Get out. I'll keep my money then. Have a nice life in poverty. Ha ha ha. So that was all that happened when he came to my house. It's a lie. That man is the devil himself. After everything you went through because of Thomas, this is what he does in return. I remember when you worked overtime at the office because you wanted to get him a new phone for his birthday. That man is evil. I was very shocked and angry not only at him but also at myself because I saw the red flags, but I decided to ignore them because I was in love. I wasted five years of my life for nothing. Other men kept on disturbing me but I refused all of them because of this man. All my time, money and efforts are gone. I feel very stupid and foolish. Stop crying. Let's be thankful he showed us his true nature now. Imagine if you guys had gotten married like you wanted? It would have been worse. You are actually right. No wonder he never introduced me to any of his family members. He was only with me because of the things I could do for him. I could have started my cooking business a long time ago but I kept on postponing it because he always needed money for things. That's true. Concerning your business, there is a cooking competition coming up for chefs looking for funding for their business. I will send the details to you so you can apply for it and I am sure you stand a good chance to win it because you are an amazing cook. Are you sure this is legit? I don't want to be scammed. It is very legit. You know I am a content creator so I am always with my phone and I am always updated on all these things. It is a reputable company organizing it. That sounds like a good idea. I will apply for it and concentrate on my business. Maybe this will take my mind off everything for a while. It definitely will. It is time for you to start focusing on yourself. Put yourself first and every other thing comes second. Don't think or cry over anything or anyone again. That was your past. Your business is your future now. You are very right. Thank you so much Anita. You are a very good friend and I appreciate you. I will not cry anymore. Good riddance to bad rubbish. That's my girl. Anita, you came to my restaurant today. Yes. I haven't seen you in almost a week and I was wondering what had happened to you. It has been business taking away all my time. I have been really busy here. I am thinking of hiring more waiters to help out here. I can see that business has been moving very well. You have a lot of customers. Well done. Hire more people if you need to, please don't stress yourself too much. The reason I came is because I have just for you. Remember your ex-fiancé Thomas? Yes I remember Thomas. What is my business with him? He has been arrested for drug peddling and fraud. Who told you that? It's all over the news and social media. I knew you would not have heard because you don't like reading blogs. You can check my phone and check the news. You know I am a content creator and I am always updated on all these things. That is the business he has been into for two years now. My goodness. That is really bad and I feel very sorry for him. No don't feel sorry for him. He deserves whatever he is getting now. Let him face the consequences of his actions. So. I have an idea for you. I want to begin managing your social media handles because you hardly do anything online. It is something you should look into because your page will attract more customers. That's a good one. Let's go into my office so we can discuss more. 
Hello, Thomas. Martha, you are the last person I expected to see here. Are you here to laugh at my predicament? I sincerely don't know what to say, but I am not here to laugh at you. I came to deliver food to the police officers, and I found out you were in the cell, so I decided to see you. Well, you are the only one who has come to see me. Really? What about your rich friends and your girlfriend from a wealthy family? Surely they could use their influence to help you out. Everyone has abandoned me because they say my case is a lost cause. All my bank accounts have been frozen and my properties have been seized. I am going to be used as a scapegoat, so everyone has the night being involved with me, even the man who introduced me to this business. I am all by myself in this world. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I will undo a lot of things. You are a good woman Martha, and I am sorry I destroyed our relationship. Stop crying. I have forgiven you a long time ago or else I won't have come here. I really wish I could help you but my hands are tied. But don't lose hope. As long as there is life, there is hope. I have to get going. The policeman gave me only two minutes here. Take good care of yourself, Thomas. Goodbye.